Hello everybody, welcome to XCOM Camera Squad, my name is Demolius. So, last episode we got ourselves another squad member. Let's see, where is he? Axiom, we got ourselves a Muton. So, uh, let's take a do the smashy smash. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see if we can include him in a mission, shall we? Oh, we actually still got an uh, assembly project that we still got to assign. Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, not sure what of these enhanced uh, var variants does. It just says that they are restocked for increased effectiveness. It doesn't really say what it does. And we can do the same thing for armor. We've got some other options available here. Some of these things are priority. Okay. Um, I, th I think this one is a good one to do, considering that will allow us to upgrade field teams in, in, uh, to rank 2. It's also done really quickly. It, it's total duration is free. So we can probably reduce that to 2. Let's take a look at our. Uh, our field team number, considering we got four people in uh, in, in the APC and Cherub is still trained. Uh, I actually didn't want to use Axiom until I got Cherub available, considering I think he's going to be very melee focused and I think uh, having Cherub's uh, shield ability available sounds like a good idea to me. So let's assign Axiom to the assembly for the time being so that he can speed up the project a little bit. Now let's take a look and see what missions we got available. Okay, uh, in this case it's kind of a no-brainer, considering uh, we have a uh, story mission available, and this one is entirely... Uh, I think this is one of those missions that you complete automatically. What's this red thing over here? But uh, yeah, we got a story mission, so we have to complete that one. It's a difficult mission, and we are at the corner and capture the lieutenant before they interrupt the city's power supply. Why would they want to do that? I don't know, but let's do this one. It's also going to otherwise, you know, blow up the, uh, the unrest here, so we really do uh, want to counter this one. I uh, don't think we got any gear available, do we? Hmm. We can actually build laser sights now and scopes. Okay, nice. That is really nice. I didn't catch this, but I guess that happened after we completed uh, the last research. Um, let's take a look here, though. Uh, let's see. I do think uh, an upgrade or two might be beneficial, but we don't got that many supplies to work with. So let's take a look what the, this do. Disables all firearms. Uh -huh. Okay, this thing is actually pretty damn cheap. So let's get one of those. Maybe a smoke grenade is a better option in this game than it is in uh, Axiom 2. I think so. Let's give it a go. Uh, I think terminal, smoke grenade, uh, blue blood already has a flashbang. So let's give a ceasefire grenade to, uh, to our. Oh wait. 
don't got any available. No. All right, let's see. Uh, we got our breach items with us. The SD key card, we got a breach. Yeah, let's go. Uh, and a door and a vent are the projected uh, available breach options, but that's fine. Let's go. Whee! They do drive like a bunch of maniacs. <laughs> so the first uh, tip is always really difficult to, to read. 3-1 PD came through for us. They identified mm -hmm. a gray Phoenix lieutenant at a hydroelectric plant. Mm -hmm. Gray Phoenix is moonlighting at a power company. <laughs> Are you joking? Yeah, because being able to shut down half the city's power grid is hilarious. Not when you put it like that. Uh, who else would it be? Hilarious. <sighs> Never mind. Alright, so let's see. Are we going to main door? And we going to main door? Yeah. Okay. I think choo choo is then probably a good idea. So let's do it like this terminal can probably, you know, uh, afford being snared. And I think same, same goes for Godmother. Okay, let's go. We shall move in. Don't bunch up. Okay, so. We got ourselves an aggressive legionnaire here. Oh god damn it, not this again. Uh, I might have swapped people out uh, or put them in different uh, locations, but Time let's go. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Okay, he's alert. And he's in high cover, but that means we can do levitate. This guy is, he's aggressive. But this one is just a L Let's fire at the aggressive one. Okay, good hit. Uh, aggressive, yeah, so we want to kill him. Oh, fuck. Uh, surprised, alert, aggressive. Let's shut ignore the cover bonus, right? Yep. Uh Elf Strike might not be a bad idea, but we still got three uh two other breaches uh, to uh, to consider, so let's just do breach fire. Right. Well that's a good start. Let's see here. Who's the next one? That would be him. Let's see if we can stun him. Your thoughts. Yes, we can. Very good. Mm. Who's number four? It's the other way over there. Okay. Um I think Legionnaire is probably a good idea considering he has a shotty. Heal Verge. Let the high tech spray do its work. Appreciate. So let's see if we can disable this guy, shall we? Shouldn't have. Ah, crap. One half left. Okay, he's rooted, considering he was the last one uh, to go through. Okay, it hit. 
Uh, that guy is the next one. This was a free action, right? Yeah, I don't want to use all my consumables r r right at the start of the uh, first uh, en encounter, so... Alright, he's rooted, so he can't move, so. but subdue this one. Down and out. There we go. Okay. Um, let us see here. Who's the next one? The paladin. That's the guy over there. Okay. But this won't outflank the legionnaire? What? Oh, why? Right. Considering. He's still hiding from that one. Um, but this this spot should be an outflank, so I'm not sure why it isn't showing up as one. Uh, so I don't know what the Paladin is going to do, because I don't know what each unit does yet. Okay, it is an outflank, so I'm not sure why it wasn't showing up. can subdue him. Let's try to do your mark. Okay, he's stunned for the entire turn. We, we can stun him or you know knock him out. And we are gonna get two more people who can act for this last one there. Should give us plenty of time to uh, to take him out. Subdue the hostile. You heal yourself. And slap him in the face. You weren't supposed to hit back. <laughs> uh yeah, we can we can just sub subdue him. Do we wanna do something for it? And we don't get a shot at uh at that paladin, so Let's subdue the Muton. <laughs> Still think it's a little bit weird that you can just melee You're under arrest. Mutons this easily. We can get a flanking shot at him. I don't think we can get... He was completely stunned though, right? So... That's fine. He won't be able to take action. And we can just slap him in the face again. There we go. Just realized that was a sector he should have taken. If we take XCOM choose uh, rules. Phoenix in the middle of whatever they were planning. No one in this room knew details. They were here to support their lieutenant's plan. Oh, you're so idiot. But uh, an XCOM two sectoids take more da damage from. Uh... Oh, this is a vent. So. We can't actually use this one. We all have to go through the main door. Okay. But uh, they take additional damage from. Uh... Oh, first one is guaranteed to land their shots. I think Godmother has the most damaging weapon with her shotty. Or we could send him Blue Blood, considering he has that ability that he. Uh... I forgot what it's called, but he, he can do additional damage from pistol. But uh, I think this is fine. But uh, yeah, sectors take addition to them from melee. But uh, I think they remove all these things for 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 this uh, XCOM game. And actually, I think it's fine. But it does takes a little bit of getting used to it. Guaranteed to land their shots, right? So let's pick one that is uh, in, a, in 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 cover if it's all possible. Like that guy. He's also aggressive. Taking him out is, I think, a good idea. Let's just shut ignored cover, right? Alright, so he's no longer an issue. Uh, surprised and alert. 
and uh, the one that's alert is also really difficult to, to hit. So what we can do is levitation. Now it's o only during the breach, so that's kind of useless now. So let's just take a shot at the legionnaire. this collect the evidence free turns remaining okay does not cost uh, all, all, all these grenades do not cost an, uh, an extra to activate I really like that so how long is the, the scatter cone it's one two three four tiles long so if we stand over there one two three four just not enough to reach that one. That's a shame. Uh, what we can do: throw a ceasefire grenade and just get in there and grab the uh, grab the objective right off the bat, so we don't have to worry about that. Don't think we can grab both of them with the same grenade, can we? No, we can't. So in that case, throwing that uh, ceasefire grenade is kind of pointless. Mm. Yeah, we can't stop uh, this adder from doing anything, so that's unfortunate. Let's just grab the uh, chest. There we go. Uh, also, of hitting the, the adder is actually the highest one we got. We could also do a team up, actually, to let. Uh, if we let Verge go first, then he can uh, get into some cover and uh, perform an action. Yeah, might as well do it. Because uh, if we if we don't do it, he's he's almost guaranteed to like get a uh, get, uh, get flanked by this other. Okay. If this hit, hits, it's an outright kill. And you know what? We have these uh, we have these things. Might as well use them as well. By the way, uh, let's throw this one at the other. Throwing grenades. Up and disabled. And yeah, this is the highest chance. So go. still missed. Okay. See how much stun we get on her? Just one. Okay. Uh, there we go. So the other still has one action available, so. Oh, she can move and attack as the same action, apparently? Uh. I want to capture, but this is, has a very high chance of killing, actually. But we need to weaken them first before we can uh, disable them with subdue. Oh, well, that's crit. That's the other one. Got a hit on her, so we can disable her next turn. Ow. Right. Heal gum on her. Also removes that poison. Be fine. I needed that. Uh yeah, I don't want to start flank, but Can do preparation so we we get a, or we can move move over there so we can. We are in position to slap them next turn. Okay, that was some weird angle that he was firing at, but sure. You're under arrest. Arrested the target. Oh, 
only stunned for one action. But we can just move in and slap them in the face. Did not see that coming. So if we get free damage, we are uh, we're done in this room. Down and, out. and we get the free damage. Nice. So we do got the evidence. We just need to find the lieutenant. Remember, that VIP knows about other Gray Phoenix operations. Mm -hmm. The capture is preferred. Consider the VIP armed and dangerous. Act accordingly. Okay. We got two main doors. Which snare first confirmed will be rooted and what's this? Watchtower. It was automatically activate Overwatch after the breach. Hmm. That is really nice. But I suppose coming in through multiple angles is probably a better idea. Here we can see four, here we can see three. Okay, let's send three through this one and send one through. Uh, let's send Godmother through this angle. Because it's, I don't think, the end of the world if she's rooted. Actually, no. Let's send Terminal. Considering that uh, we. Now let's send Purge. Send everybody else through here. Considering with Verge, most of the times we use his uh, ability to, uh, like, uh, his psychic ability twice in the first turn anyway. Just so long as his cover position is good, it's not an issue. Alright, let's see here. A Dominator, okay. Put it surprised. Adder, surprised. Adder, aggressive. Legionnaire aggressive and in cover. Okay. Hundred percent. Eight percent. Let let's fire at the lifted guy. Considering he's also like uh did Elbow Strike do it do again? Fire shots going through the bridge and will take their turn earlier in the time. My governor also gets one bonus action in the first turn. Yeah, let's do this. And do we want to do this on this guy? Or there's two aggressive targets here, but that one is in cover. So let's. All right. The other is aggressive, but also in cover and difficult to hit, so let's go for a shot at the Legionnaire. Ow. The bird gets shot in the face, but considering he was already wounded, that's not really an issue. We need you to cover us. I assume that's the Phoenix VIP yeah. is on the move. Subdue if you are able. Okay, first can't move. So can we see the lieutenant from over here? I don't think we can. No. Uh, okay, we stunned the adder for one action. Battle madness. Um, adder, adder. Let's do well on the dominator. Let's see, he's the furthest back. I think he has the, the most targets that he can fire at. Oh, that was a very nice hit on a Python. Okay. Alright, everyone's on Overwatch. Shit. Oh, the crap, that guy has a lot of health. It's terminal from full cover, okay. Did that say that the full cover gave us three points of armor? <laughs> Saved Verge over there, holy shit. Otherwise he was gonna get a snake to, snake to the face. 
Okay. Um. Okay, shots currently are not really that good, and they all have very good uh, cover positions. Um, what can we see from this position? The Dominator, and I think that's kind of it. So we, st we still have a flashbang. Let's see if we can't move up and hit that adder. But uh, moving, moving up is currently a little bit of a hazard considering this car is going to explode though. Hmm. And we don't got a great deal of full cover to, to choose from, so set up over there. Toss a flashbang. Can we hit you? Yes, yes we can, nice. Avert your eyes. Okay, those two are disorientated. I take a shot at. Let's see. Yeah, that's a really crap shot. Fire them. Okay, so the car's exploded. Mm. She actually has a really good cover position. But I think we need to get close for, uh, for this guy. What are our shots over here? 58. So 50 50. So if, it, if it hits, it's a kill, so go for it. Yup. <clears throat> okay, I think he just used both his. Uh... No, guess not. Oh, fuck. Yeah, they're gonna have to move. Uh, terminal, heal yourself. Considering you got hit through cover. I'd actually move up because there's some full cover over there. Also disorientated. Oh fuck. I don't know when this thing is gonna explode, but I'd rather not, you know, be near it. Okay, he can actually subdue people. If he subdues it like, like this, he also gets cover. It's only half cover, but it's something. Okay, okay. He's firing a terminal, really? I was gonna say, she has full cover and she has her own uh, aid protocol thingy. I would slap this adder in the face, but uh, can we do that? And then Godmother gets her. Yeah, and, and uh, if we should subdue it from this direction, then Godmother can slap it from the other direction. Hostile saw me coming. He has two actions and he only needs one to get in contact, so he can take a shot at the lieutenant. Oh, this is Godmar, so he can't take two shots, so it's Blue Blood who can do that. Okay. Let's give them some nice cover to work with. We have to weaken him up for us before we can capture him. Well, it helps if we actually hit him. Uh, what's the camera doing? Verge, uh, can you stun him? Yes, that would be great. My mind he resisted. Okay. That's the first time I've actually seen a target actually resist something. He just gave himself plus one arm. What the hell is Jewel? 
Ow! Oh, the crap. Uh, with dual active, the Praetorian cannot miss the dual agent. But the agent also cannot miss the Praetorian. Oh! Okay, interesting. Well, we, well, we get uh, multiple people who can act before he can, so we're just gonna kick his ass. Take that. That was a bad call. I'm running low. So he can give himself armor as a reaction when he gets hit by the looks of it. Just a shame for him that, that this melee <laughs> bypasses that. <laughs> okay. Lieutenant neutralized. With their lieutenant out of the picture, Grey Phoenix is no longer a threat to the hydro hydroelectric plant. They need a massive amount of power, but we don't know why. If Trade 1 PD finds anything, they'll pass it our way. Uh, we did get some wounded guys, some through full copper, so there's not exactly much that we could do about that. From 9 captured enemies, you have earned 20 of them. Nice. Now, so far, I think I've only seen myself gain 20 intel. I'm not sure if there's like a point past capturing a certain number of people. Because I think I've seen that for every one that you capture, you get a 25% chance to get that intel. So is there even a point beyond uh, capturing five? I don't know, some questions to ask. So we got ourselves minus two unrest in all time. We got 35 credits. The evidence we got collected is 35 valerium. All right, nice. And, we, and, we, and uh, from the captured enemies, we got 20 intel. So we got a little bit of everything, quite literally. <laughs> Nice. So unrest in all time is lower to one. Very nice. All right, then let's uh, read here from the archives. Stevens, City Works consider Hydro Alexis a vital part of our, of our recovery. It's no secret power grid is insufficient. You can see what's over here, because the overlay. Plants provide a steady supply of power that reinforce the heavy power load. It prevents fluctuations and minimizes brownout. What the fuck is a brownout? Council of Horfu. Find minimizes. It brings us from daily brownouts to monthly. <laughs> oh, that's decent. Cerebus completed training fitness. Very Excellent. Good. Dismantling the Grey Phoenix leadership should throw them into disarray. The continued protest of the Starport's closure. Terrestrial supremacists. These people share the beliefs of those who killed Mayor Nightingale. They seek to provoke us while well, the city does nothing. A masked spokesperson from Earth above all insisted otherwise. Alien pilgrimage? They want access to armed starships inside that port. Of course, we're here to say otherwise. More as it develops. This Actually, is Celio Dash with Channel 30. Actually, I have to agree there with that guy, to be honest. That sounds like a really bad idea. But we got a training complete. Uh, removed the scar. And doesn't seem like it did anything else beyond that. We got some promotions available. So let's take a look here. Uh, we have to pick here. Let's see. Uh, sustain. If terminal takes enough damage to begin bleeding out, they are instead reduced to 1 HP and immediately enter stasis for one turn. One use permission. That is really good. Pin down. Terminal shoots non-damaging suppressor fire at a target to push their turn down the timeline. Holy shit, that's also really nice. I don't know if it does anything other than just push them down or if it also does like suppressing fire. But sustain is... Both these are really good. But I think this one is... Bad. I'm gonna go for this one considering... She's already a very good support unit, and this just makes her an even better support unit. Let's see what Verge's promotion is. Crowdsource. Verge gains plus 5 aim and plus 10 critical networks for each enemy in the neural network. Okay. Caller. Enemies in the neural network would, would be killed or rendered unconscious instead. Okay, that makes it easier for, for us to capture people. I really like that as well. That means we can just shoot people that we put in the, in the neural network. Hmm. 
And we already gain aim for each enemy in our network, so even more aim and crit chances. I think a little bit redundant, so let's go for color. Alright. And we got ourselves a scar by the looks of it. Weakened. HP reduced by 3. Okay. Um, Alright. Now let's start with removing that. Yeah, that's 8 for the scar. Can we go back, please? Okay. Uh, let's see. No, not spec ops. Training. Select the unit. That would be the terminal. Okay, we're removing that scar. Okay. Agent idol, yeah. Field team payday. Oh, that's the reward that we got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we are taking action here. Because I think uh, it's the only one that we got available. Now we got Cherub available and we got. Uh, oh, let's see. Let's take action, yeah. Uh, we already got someone in training. So, hold on. This is already down to one day, so I don't think we gain much by putting someone in here. So we got one person who is not assigned yet at the moment towards anything. Um, uh, where we just assigned uh, her to training. Do we want to do a spec ops? Uh, it takes three days. Do we want Godmother God Mother to be unavailable for three days? Three days is a long time. Let's see here, what day of the week is it? Can We've we see? connected Gray Phoenix to oh. a recent spate of alien abductions in City 31. Find mm -hmm. out why Gray Phoenix wants these aliens. We need to get them home. Okay. It is already... Oh, that's why we got the payday, because it's Friday. Okay. Mm. Anarchy and unrest change. Yeah, we got... From the mission we got it lowered by two, but I think we're gonna leave it off right here. It will give me a little bit time to decide what to do with the last member of our squad before we start start the next one. Next episode. I wanna thank everybody for tuning in. My name is Timulis and I'll see you guys next time.